Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for tuning in today. My name is Chad Bartlett if you're just tuning in. And I hope you guys all had a great weekend last weekend. Um, first of all, I wanna say thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers on the channel. That's absolutely awesome. Um, I started YouTube around two years ago, so it's really cool to get to this point. And obviously I couldn't have done it without each and every one of you guys, okay? So anyways, I wanna go over a typical video, right? Five websites to make $100 a day. And I know there's a lot of similar videos out there like this, but I wanna give you my own perspective of what I personally think are the five best websites to actually start making money. Because, you know, a lot of people watch who, who watch these kind of videos or uh, makes these kind of videos is, they kind of try to show or people try to find like that secret website, right? That secret website that's, that's just gonna make them money really fast and really easy, right? But you know, usually if it's too good to be true, it probably is, okay? So that's why I wanna give you guys my real thoughts on the best five websites to make you know, $100 a day or however much. Uh, a lot of these stuff you can make $1,000 a day, you can make five grand a day, okay? So there's really no limit on this. So let's go ahead and get right into this. We'll break this down step by step. So the first website, I'm sure you guys have heard this website before. This is an affiliate network called ClickBank. Now what I like about ClickBank personally is for one, there's pretty much every niche on there, right? If you have, if you're in some type of niche, you can probably find an affiliate product to promote that actually is a good product, okay? So ClickBank is a huge network with tons of products. Um, also, another thing is they give 50% plus commission, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna get usually like 50% of the sale because most of the products on ClickBank are digital products. So I personally say that ClickBank is a pretty good network, um, especially for those affiliates just starting out. And in case you're running, there's all kinds of different ways to promote ClickBank products you can promote them on Facebook Google uh, free traffic paid traffic YouTube you know you can really use any traffic source it doesn't really matter that much um, you just got to kind of get creative with your niche and uh, the marketing strategy you want to go about if you'd like to see the case study on how I made my first ten thousand dollars with affiliate marketing and you can actually apply this to ClickBank products just go on over to digital marketing expert.co and I go ahead and showcase that um, case study inside the training there okay so with that being said, ClickBank, that's my number five pick. Let's see what this number pick is. What do you guys think it is? Comment down below right now um, your guesses. But anyways, let's go on to number four. Let me write this down real quick. All right, and we're back. So number four we have is Builderall, all right? If you guys don't know what Builderall is, it's an all-in-one digital marketing platform. I've personally been using it for the past 18 months now. Um, I've made a lot of money with Builderall, probably in the $200,000 range now. Um, but, you know, that's another story, right? So for Builderall, I like Builderall because really you can literally do anything with Builderall. You can run any business, you can start any business. It's an all-in-one digital marketing platform made specifically for digital marketers, right? This is good for you if you wanna make money online because Builderall has really every tool you need to start any really business you want, okay? So really, Builderall is more of a software and a platform and what I do on Builderall and what other people on Builderall is they build websites, they build funnels, they build agencies, they build you know affiliate businesses on the actual platform on Builderall to start generating an income online. Okay, so some examples here is affiliate marketing. Now there's two things you can do here. You can either promote Builderall as an affiliate if you want, or another thing you can do is you can just promote other products. Like for example, you can use the Builderall uh, website builder and build funnels to promote products on ClickBank. So that's another thing you can do, right? Uh, you can be a freelancer, you can start an agency, right? You can start working with clients. You can start using some of the 25 tools on this platform, offer a service to an online client, an online entrepreneur, people who desperately need the service, you know, sell the service and then actually deliver and um, actually do the service on the platform. So if you're building a website for a client, if you're doing uh, 
social media videos, if you're doing copywriting, if you're making a course, if you're making a webinar funnel for a client, uh, there's a chat bot, right? There's so many different things that you can actually build on Builderall. So that's the second thing. Uh, third thing is you can make your own digital product. So if you wanna make an ebook, you can sell it on there. If you wanna make a course, uh, you can sell it on there. Builderall actually has membership sites, so you can do uh, really just any online business, like I said, okay? So anyways, that's my number four pick. Um, if you guys wanna learn about how to do some of these business models, again, you can go over to digitalmarketingexpert.co and it shows specific training on Builderall uh, with these different business models, okay? All right, so we're starting to close in on the top three websites to start making money. What is number three? All right, so let me go ahead and write this down um, since I can't really write on camera because I'm not a very good writer. So let me go write this. All right, so number three website we have is Google, okay? So I know this is a really, like, really chat Google, um, but I honestly think people don't take advantage of it as much as they should, okay? And as much as they can. And really, Google is an unlimited resource to find your answer to any question, right? You can scope out competitors, you can find clients this way, there's so many different things you can do with Google to actually make money. Like I can't tell you how many times I've seen people message me on Facebook or email and they'll message me like 80 times and it's just like I didn't get to my messages every day. I check them once a day at 5 p.m. after I'm done working, okay? So that's when I check my messages and some people like keep on messaging me like, Chad, this is really urgent. I need the answer to my question. I'm like, Dude, you can literally Google this. <laughs> like, so people don't realize how powerful Google can actually be because it's it, this website, Google, has the most data out of any website out there. So you can do the most research on literally any topic and get any question you have answered within seconds, okay? So um, what are some of the things you can do with Google, right? You can run Google ads. Okay, you can run Google Ads to ClickBank products. You can run Google Ads to all kinds of different keywords, like right? local keywords, right? Maybe you have some clients, maybe you have some local plumbers in your area, and you can do Google Ads for them. If someone types in plumber Corona, California, right? So that's like a city near me. Uh, but anyways, if someone types that in, you can run an ad for them and you can start to get them results. You can start to get them some leads and some sales, and they're gonna pay you some money for that, right? Um, you can rank sites on keywords, right? So you can rank for different keywords on Google. So for example, some types in best workouts for busy moms, right? You could potentially rank your website for that keyword, get free traffic, get a lead, and potentially sell them down the road. So that's like another way, obviously that's the main way Google uh, works is people like us, marketers, we rank sites for different keywords, so when people type those in, people type that keyword in, um, they're gonna get our content, right? They're gonna get our information. Um, you know, so like I said, there's unlimited research. You can find clients, right? You can do all kinds of research on your local cities to find clients that you can get their phone numbers, look at the problems in their business and potentially close them based off that problem you're gonna solve for them, right? So there's so many different things you can do with Google. So that's why I put it up here. And you know, I couldn't run my online business without Google personally. So let's go on to number two. All right, so number two we have here is YouTube, the site you're on right now watching this video. Now, why YouTube? So guys, uh, right now, I think it's around 1.4 billion monthly active users watching videos on YouTube every single month. So literally like any topic, there's, there's so many different niches, so many different topics, so many different subtopics that you can make a channel around post content, right? Make money from YouTube ad revenue, make money from affiliate links in your description of your YouTube video, make money from, you know, some people sell merch, some people sell physical e-commerce products, some people sell courses, some people sell eBooks, right? Some people sell recipes around, you know, different smoothie mixes, right? So there's so many different channels and subtopics that you can go into. And I personally think like, if you are in digital marketing, you should have a YouTube channel. Right, obviously it's gonna depend on your business, but I think a lot of people underestimate the power of having a YouTube channel and the power of posting content online and building um, kind of your brand and your subscriber base, right? Because really I think YouTube is just gonna completely dominate the TV industry, all the cable TVs, 
all the cable businesses will go out of business for the next five years and YouTube, Google, um, obviously Google owns YouTube, they're gonna dominate the industry because they got the leverage, they got the attention, right? It's all about attention. So that's the first thing you can do is you can make a YouTube channel. There's multiple different ways to make money uh, with the YouTube channel. Um, there's also client work, right? YouTube is a platform where you see all these different channels trying to make content, trying to get subscribers, trying to make money, right? So what you could do is you could take advantage of that, you could see that, and you can see problems in their YouTube channels, you can see problems in their business, problems in their social media, and deliver solutions, deliver services to those clients. Um, and you can work with them completely online, you can do all the work from your laptop or at your house, right? And um, I actually have a video about this. If you wanna learn how to do client work for YouTubers, go check out this video, I'll put it in one of the corners. It's how to make uh, money on YouTube without uploading video. So it's something that really does work. So go check it out on one of the corners here uh, but anything the next thing I'd say and the reason I pick YouTube is uh, for number two spot is you can learn anything for free right and um, even though like that's basic right like you would think everyone knows that and you know this because you're watching this video right now you obviously know you can learn anything for free on YouTube but a lot of people for example are going to college still for graphic design or they're going to college for photography. That, that just doesn't really make sense to me and if you are going to college for that, no offense to you at all. You know, you may have your reasons but for me personally, if I can go, like if I want to do freelancing or photography full time, I could pay $60,000 averagely getting four years of college. But what I can do instead is I can go on YouTube and I can look up the best freelancer channels, right? The best graphic design channels, the best photography channels, uh, depending on what I wanna do. And I can look at their actual experience. And what you'll notice is a lot of the people that are um, making videos on photography, uh, freelance graphic design, they're actually doing it. They're not just teaching it, right? So they've actually had years of experience of doing that versus a lot of college professors, they just teach based off principles and based off you know book definitions and you know some BS. But like obviously they do teach some good stuff in college. I'm just saying that you could learn all this stuff for free by people who are really experienced in the field and that's really the power of YouTube. You can get a one-on-one -on -one experience, you know, actually seeing in video form versus just Google, where it's mainly just text, right? So that's why I picked YouTube. That's very powerful. If I, if YouTube didn't exist, right? If I went, if I wasn't able to learn a lot of the stuff that I know that helped me build my business, um, I would probably be broke or like, you know, back at a job or whatever because I wouldn't be able to learn any of the things I know and that's the only way I was able to make money because I had certain knowledge and I was able to take action on that knowledge. All right, so with that being said, let's go on over to the number one spot. All right, so the number one website that I picked for, you know, really the average person to become, to come in there and make at least $100 a day, obviously you can make a lot more, it's gonna be Facebook, okay? So why Facebook? And this is a hard one, I had to really think about this, but I really think Facebook is the best way for anyone to start making money as a beginner, just because I've seen it the most, right? I've personally made a lot of money with Facebook and still do, um, and I've just seen so many different people, like for example, I have a Facebook group um, called Digital Marketing Experts, so we have like, almost 13,000 members in there. And I just see it a ton on Facebook where people are able to go from zero dollars to start making some commissions, start getting some traffic, start doing all kinds of things with Facebook, okay? So there's, I put four different sections on here, four different ways to really make money with Facebook. So number one is gonna be Facebook groups, right? So this is kind of similar to, think of it as a YouTube channel. So instead of like a YouTube channel, it's just a group. So think of it as like your community, right? It's a community around a specific topic. So when you make a YouTube channel, you don't just make random videos. You want to make it around a specific niche, right? Around a specific topic. Um, so that's the same thing with a group. You can have a group about weight loss. You can have a group about hiking. You can have a group about, you know, basketball. You can have a group about marketing. So mine is around digital marketing. So there's so many different things you can make a Facebook group around. And with the Facebook groups, as an admin, um, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to start collecting leads um, and getting sales, okay? So Facebook groups is just a really good way to build your authority in the niche, right? Provide value to people and also you know, collect leads and make sales. 
All right, so that's kind of what I use my Facebook group for and that's what a lot of other people use it for. Plus you get to network with all kinds of cool people who are interested in the same topic that you are, which I find really, um, really amazing, okay? So the next thing is Facebook ads. Obviously, you kind of know what this is, uh, running ads on Facebook. There's all kinds of different routes you can go about that, so um, I'll just kind of save that talk. But anyways, the next thing is live streams, okay? So this is another um, underutilized uh, resource with Facebook is live streams. So you can do live streams on your personal profile, inside your group, on your Facebook page, and what you have the ability to do is instantly connect with other people in your marketplace, right? Whether it's your prospects, your leads, your customers, and be able to communicate with them and share what you have to say live and share your experience live. And I don't know about you, but that's a good way to get leads is just start live streaming about some topics you know, do the live streams in a group around your specific topic, whatever your business is about. Do the live stream on your Facebook page and then you could boost that live stream, run ads to it to um, your potential leads that you want for your business, right? And live streams, and especially like if you run ads to a live stream, it doesn't look like you're selling anything. But what you can do is maybe a minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes into the live stream, you could give a call to action to go, you know, get your lead magnet to go get whatever you're offering as a business, um, as someone selling something, right? So that's another very under, underutilized um, resource of Facebook, I think is live streams, and it's a good way to get a lot of leads and traffic uh, from Facebook. Okay, and the next one, and this is actually the reason why Facebook got number one spot versus YouTube and Google, mostly because of the marketplace, right? So Facebook, if you don't know, they have their own marketplace where all kinds of people, they use their phone and maybe they wanna sell, I don't know, maybe they wanna sell their laptop, right? So they wanna sell this laptop, so they take a picture of their laptop real quick, post it on the Facebook marketplace and sell it for a certain price based off what they feel it's worth. Now, you as the you know little entrepreneur you are or that we are right we can look for good deals on the marketplace if you see something is undervalued you see that that laptop is selling on average that exact model is selling for an average of you know let's say 500 bucks on other platforms so either ebay offer up right amazon craigslist there's all kinds of different ways to sell it so if you see someone someone selling a laptop just like that for $300, you can go call them up, go pick it up real quick, right? Maybe do a couple different spots. Pick up the laptop, you know, try to do, maybe have a whole week where you're finding deals and you're gathering deals. Maybe you spend around $1,000. But maybe your margin, you're saying, okay, I'm only gonna get it if I, can, if I know I can sell it for 30% more than I bought it for. So now, you take that $1,000 you spent on good deals all week, basically you know, 30% under what you can sell them for, the next week you go and sell them on OfferUp, on eBay, on Amazon, on Craigslist, all these different platforms, boom, you just make 300 bucks on your $1,000 investment. Okay, so now you have $1,300. Now you can take that $1,300 and scale this more, okay? Now the next week, you try to spend $1,300 on different undervalued items, do it again, flip it, maybe make 600 bucks, maybe make 500 bucks. Even if it's an extra 500 bucks a week or a month, right, that, that can be um, you know, a pretty good side income for a lot of people, right? $500 is a lot of money. So this is um, a really good way to start making $100 a day really fast, right? You don't have to really have your own business. You don't have to have really sell your own product. You don't have to have customer support. All you're doing is flipping things on the Facebook marketplace. Um, so that's why I like affiliate marketing and flipping things because you don't really have to have your own business versus like um, selling your own products and stuff like that, right? So anyways, guys, those are the top five websites to start making some money online. If you guys would like to learn about how to do um, some of the stuff with BuildRall, affiliate marketing, uh, freelancing and agency, offering services to online clients, um, and again, like my case study I showed with ClickBank, uh, just go over to digitalmarketingexpert.co. I'm gonna be walking you guys through my top three online methods that I've personally used to build a six-figure business in under one year. And I'll see you guys in the training there uh, but anyways I hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you guys want more videos like this be sure to subscribe with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching